In this guide, we will explore some of the different species of tilapia, including their characteristics, habitat, and ideal water conditions. We will also discuss their nutritional value and provide some tips on how to raise them successfully. Nile tilapia. Nile tilapia, Oreochromus niloticus, is one of the most common tilapia species raised in aquaculture. This species is native to Africa, and its popularity is due to its hardiness and fast growth rate. Nile tilapia can tolerate a wide range of water conditions, including low oxygen levels, high salinity, and poor water quality. In terms of appearance, Nile tilapia has a silver, gray coloration with a black lateral line that runs down the length of its body. This species can reach up to 60 centimeters in length and weigh up to 4 kilograms. Nile tilapia is an omnivore and can be fed a variety of feeds, including plant-based feeds. Blue tilapia. Blue tilapia, Oreochromus aureus, is another popular tilapia species for aquaculture. This species is native to the Nile River basin in Africa but has been introduced to many parts of the world, including the United States. Blue tilapia has a similar appearance to Nile tilapia, with a silver, gray coloration and a black lateral line. Blue tilapia can grow up to 50 centimeters in length and weigh up to 2 kilograms. This species is also an omnivore and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. Blue tilapia is known for its fast growth rate and can reach maturity in just six months. Mozambique tilapia. Mozambique tilapia, Oreochromus mozambicus, is another popular tilapia species for aquaculture. This species is native to the southeastern coast of Africa but has been introduced to many parts of the world, including the United States. Mozambique tilapia has a bronze coloration with vertical bars on its body. Mozambique tilapia can grow up to 35 centimeters in length and weigh up to 1 kilogram. This species is an omnivore and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions, including brackish water. Mozambique tilapia is known for its ability to breed in a variety of conditions, making it an excellent choice for aquaculture. Red tilapia. Red tilapia is a hybrid tilapia species that is a cross between Nile tilapia and Mozambique tilapia. This hybrid species has a reddish, pink coloration with a black lateral line. Red tilapia is an omnivore and can be fed a variety of feeds, including plant-based feeds. Red tilapia can grow up to 50 centimeters in length and weigh up to 2 kilograms. This species is known for its fast growth rate and high reproductive rate making it an excellent choice for aquaculture. Black tilapia. Black tilapia, Cerotheridon melanotheron, is a tilapia species native to West Africa. This species has a black coloration with a white belly and can grow up to 30 centimeters in length. Black tilapia is an omnivore and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. Black tilapia is known for its hardiness and ability to tolerate poor water quality. This species is also resistant to many diseases, making it a popular choice for aquaculture in areas with limited resources. Black tilapia is also known for its excellent flavor, making it a favorite among consumers. Tilapia Nutrition Tilapia is an excellent source of protein, with about 23 grams of protein per 100 grams of cooked fish. Tilapia is also low in fat and calories, making it an ideal choice for those looking to maintain a healthy diet. In addition, tilapia is a good source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin B12, selenium, and phosphorus. The nutritional value of tilapia can be affected by the feed used in aquaculture. Plant-based feeds can result in a lower omega-3 fatty acid content in the fish, while fish-based feeds can result in higher omega-3 fatty acid content. Raising tilapia. Raising tilapia in aquaculture can be a rewarding and profitable venture. Tilapia can be raised in a variety of systems, including ponds, tanks, and cages. The ideal water temperature for tilapia is between 25, 30 degrees Celsius, and the ideal pH range is between 6.5, 8.5. Tilapia can tolerate a wide range of water conditions, but water quality should be monitored regularly to ensure the health and growth of the fish. Feeding tilapia can be done using a variety of feeds including commercial feeds, plant-based feeds, and live feeds. Commercial feeds are the most convenient and widely used feed for tilapia in aquaculture. Plant, 
Based feeds can be cheaper than commercial feeds, but they may result in lower growth rates and lower omega-3 fatty acid content in the fish. In conclusion, tilapia is a versatile and hardy fish species that is ideal for aquaculture. With its fast growth rate, hardiness, and excellent flavor, tilapia is an excellent choice for both commercial and small scale aquaculture operations. By understanding the different species of tilapia and their ideal habitat and nutritional requirements, you can successfully raise tilapia and enjoy the benefits of this delicious and nutritious fish. Thanks for watching and happy farming!